Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 89 inch long 5200 pound trailer axle beam with the easy lube spindles. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. It replaces an axle on your trailer and you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. This is a high strain steel construction. The axle tubing diameter on this is three inches. And this is an underslung design axle and by that we mean the spring seats here that your leaf springs mount to. They're welded to the underside of the axle and that gives you a nice low ride height, makes it easier to load and unload your trailer. Now the spring seats, the spindles, and the brake flanges you can see here are all welded onto the axle. The brake flange is a five bolt design. Now you might notice the bend in the center of the axle right here. This is what will ensure the proper camber angle. When installing this axle, you want to make sure that bend faces up and the label right here should face the rear of the trailer. Now if that label happens to be missing, you just look at these wires here that they run through the uh, axle that are for your electric brakes. These should also face the rear of the trailer. And these electric brake wires are included if you're going to be installing electric brakes to the axle. Now having the center ride a bit higher and the sides of the axle bent lower allows this axle to give just enough to compensate for the load in the trailer. This bend will create a nice zero camber angle for even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer tires and it ensures that the angle of the wheels are correct for your towing needs. The result gives you a nice excellent straight line acceleration for steady controlled towing. You can see it's a straight easy lube spindle, there's no drop to it. And the easy lube spindles are nice because they have the built in grease zerk fitting on the end here which allows for a nice simple easy lubrication of your bearings without having to disassemble the whole hub assembly. Most of the times when you go to grease your bearings, you have to take your hub off, take your bearings out, grease the bearings individually, put them all back in, slide it all back on. With the Easy Lube, what's nice is you just, as your hub's already installed in here, put your grease gun under, pumps grease right into the bearings, and you're all ready to go. Very simple to do. Now this part will include the castle nuts, the D washers, the retaining washers. The bearings that fit this are sold separately. This part is made in the USA. Weight capacity again on this is 5,200 pounds. Now when you do purchase an axle, there's two critical measurements you need to be aware of, the hub face to hub face length. And what that is, is when your hub is installed on here, you measure from the hub face on this side to the hub face on that side. And this one will measure 89 inches with the hubs installed. And the other one is the spring center to spring center length. So if you measure from the spring seats we talked about earlier, the center of it to the center of that spring seat, on this one is going to measure 74 inches, which is usually your trailer width also. And one last thing is when we do ship these, they won't be exposed like this. We actually cover them up. <clears throat> we'll put a coating of grease on here to protect it from any corrosion. And then we have these real thick rubber boots that will just slide over the ends. And then they install right on there and then we wrap them. Same way on that end we'll wrap that. So that actually protects that spindle from any damage and corrosion. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 89 inch long 5200 pound trailer axle beam with the Easy Lube spindles.